Now this is a media storage unit called a 12 inch LP. And this is a media storage unit called a 7 inch 45. Commercially, most music is now downloaded from the internet, but there's nothing like a vinyl fix. So dear hearts, the question is, what else are they lying to you about? And by the way, who knows a city's musical scene better than the independent record store that's located in that town? My first album was Millennium by the Backstreet Boys. Fat Boys, Jailhouse Rap. It would have to be the Beatles' help. One was Pat Metheny off ramp. It was Appetite for Destruction from Guns N' Roses. My first proper album that I made a choice to buy was Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. 1985 changed my life. Independent record shops are alive and well. People have rediscovered vinyl. It's the sonic experience of physical reality no download can match. Music has a, a mystical power at times when nothing else does. One of the first things I tell any record collector is, I used to work at a used shop for 10 years. Inevitably, if they ask me, yo, oh, what shop, where was it? I say, oh, it's Vintage Vinyl in St. Louis. They, their eyes open it, and they know Vintage Vinyl. The reason I decided to open up a record store was that A, I wanted to be in the music business on my own terms, and B, to be quite honest, at that point, I didn't know of anybody that would give me a job. The Beastie Boys came in to go record shopping. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Tenacious D, in its full-blown glory, did a performance here. This is a little chestnut from um, the pick of Destiny. We did two uh, in-stores with the Insane Clown Posse. And I look over and I see the windows of the store bowing in from so many people in front of the store. It was starting to make me think about that movie, Day of the Locusts. My most favorite memory was Mumford and Sons coming here. And I think what they wanted to get out of it was to have a real personal contact in a record store. What I love about this, of course, three-dimensional wheel that turns and shows the faces. I got a real clean copy on the Minute label. $9.99. As they would say in Jamaica, music like dirt. In his own way, he is kind of a preacher for music and for the spirituality of music. He lives it as a performer, as a DJ clerk. He loves being on the floor teaching people about music. It's not just about running a store or making money to live. It's his life. So come with us to explore the world of indie music and indie record stores in all of their vinyl glory in Chicago, New Orleans, London, Portland, Nashville, Atlanta, Memphis, LA. You know, half the story has never been told. Join us on our caravan to classic record stores all over the world. See what evolves. I promise you, it will be a musical experience you won't forget.